Here we are. We're in the 1100 block of St. Bernard Avenue, Lewis Carey with the fire department. Tell us what happened out here this morning. Uh, this morning we had a fire at a mixed-use commercial residential building at 1131 St. Bernard Avenue. Uh, we had about 48 guys responding to this one, 16 units. The initial call came in at 3.39 a.m. Uh, we arrived at 3.47, struck a second alarm almost immediately at 3.58. They finally have it under control, went under control at 4.40 a.m. We're not sure where the fire started yet. We're going to have to do an investigation on it, but looks like everything was cleared out. There were no people in the apartments at the time of the fire, so the guys are still working now trying to uh, figure out where the fire started. We're doing overhaul as we speak. We know this is early in the investigation, but you were pointing at a spot where it looked like it may have been exterior going into the building. Yet. Right, we're not sure yet where the fire started. Um, it looks like it was on the first floor that it started leading into the cafe, the Bourbon Street Cafe. Um, we're gonna have to do an investigation to see what we can find. But as far as you know, nobody hurt in this fire? No, no injuries uh, report as of yet. All the firefighters are fine, and there were no residents in the building at the time. All right, Lewis, thank, thank you so much. You. Lewis Carey with the uh, New Orleans Fire Department kind of giving us an update of what happened here. Again, we're in the 1100 block of St. Bernard Avenue. Henriette De Leo this way, Rampart Street that way. You can see just taking a look here at the outside of this building. Bourbon Square Coffee Cafe on one corner. Above that, a number of apartments. We walked up and down the sidewalk. We've talked to several people who were actually living in those apartments who are now displaced, obviously, and don't have a place to stay now uh, on what is a very, very cold, cold morning. As you heard, the fire is now under control. Nobody was injured in the place. He'll have to now try and figure out just exactly what caused it. Again, as a number of apartments up there, everybody that would, was living there is certainly displaced at this point, and the cafe on the bottom floor sustaining very heavy damage. But as you heard uh, Lewis Carey tell you just a moment ago, nobody hurt, no firefighters injured, and now the fire is out, and they are wrapping things up. We're in the investigation as to what happened will be begin a little bit later on this morning. That's the situation here in the 1100 block of St. Bernard Avenue. Guys, back to you.